happens to be um, HR 22500 Y2 video tutorial series. Um, the HR 22500 cargo and passenger ratings are brought to you by Omega here. Uh, please keep this highlight near that card to remember how many guys you have brought in the past. Okay, now in this tutorial series, we'll be having a video focusing on the aircraft system. We'll start out with the uh, autopilot, the Falcon 8 Heavy computer, the main flight air control and stuff. Okay, so let's get to this video. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to program the FMC for a flight from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur. We'll be using a region air route deck, so uh, air link format will let's us control some of the flight here. Uh, you can get these kind of air link formats from rockethello.com or flightsimulation.com or even Mikel Perone who's with the um, Intermap, uh, Intermap, sorry, it's a low mango flight here by the way, that's huge. So um, to have uh, made up the map, uh, made up the route so that you can map the this one. Um, so let's get into the cockpit and let's get this thing going here. Okay, um, as you notice the aircraft is in autopilot, you can turn on autopilot or we could run in low flight mode. Low flight mode, you have to turn on any one of the two engines. Hit prop field brake on, uh, that's in sport mode, and then you turn on any two of these IFC engines to get pilot. Uh, that's not running any gun glitches, you guys can tell by now. You can turn on GT service and use pilot mode. Okay, so the right. So just turn it on by pressing the two IFC arms. This is the identity page of the model engines. Uh, that's when they're encountering the PC invaders. Um, it's probably good to have a navigator too, just so you can. Uh, if, you, if you do have navigator too, uh, though, if you don't have any cargo or anything, you can get you know get that done as well. Let's just get this thing set up for now. Uh, set your view to turn turn on speed. Um, and then your GPS location will be for the flight. Uh, it, it did do that by the way. Uh, it's for the different engines. Okay, and the route page. Now we have to uh, enter our origin and the actual uh, destination. Um, now you see the actual sometimes because that's actually the guy on the gun glitch. It's not sometimes, it's what actually it is. Uh, flight number is Mike India Alpha 1634 from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur and uh, the activate. You could activate the route now, but that would put the aircraft in direct flight to Kuala Lumpur and we don't want that. We want to put in the route flight. So, um, let's just go to the next page right now where we uh, put in the air route and the waypoint. So first, we're going to fly to the, uh, Obag. Um, if it when you put it in, just do direct, but uh, we're going to put in straight in right now, so that's fine. And from Burbank, we're going to take the um, Papa 501 Airway or Little Red Coat Arama Alpha Romeo Alpha Mike Alpha. From there, we're going to take the Alpha 464 Airway all the way up to Dumont. That's the basic air link format route. Um, now you could activate, but I'm not. I'm gonna go to the legs page right now to edit the legs. Um, so you can see that there are more waypoints that you enter. That's because the route one legs actually takes out the waypoint from the uh, airway from six point one. Um, okay, so right now let's um, let's first activate the route. Before that, I want to show you that uh, no changes have been made to the flight plan yet, and uh, activated yet, but we'll see this thing now. And this is important about the HR 22500 route. Uh, when you make a change, uh, they don't go in unless you activate them. Once you activate them, you see that this thing just goes. So uh, you have to actually execute all the changes so that it goes into active mode. Okay, that's the map. Um, you see I have the whole uh, flight plan that I'm after doing now. Um, just for an example on how to edit, I'm going to show you. Um, let's say you want to go to Dumont and then Arama is where it ends up. So uh, just let's type in Dumont and insert it uh, right above Andud. That's where you want it to be. And you see it says module that an active route has been modified and you have to execute the changes again. Um, now let's remove Andud. Select down uh, Arama. You can select away from the passenger wheel and then move it up. There we go. And execute our changes to set the map. Get um, our line on you. Um, our, our changes here to move around the actual route. So um, let's back. Let's get back to Android because I want to follow the actual route. Papa 501. And uh, bring this thing down. Uh, and you see that 
Lord mentions that in Job. He kind of did a bit in in this part of Luke. Okay, and the right side. Now, these four altitudes in Spain, um, they display in the Alien Me. They're not actually the Nag. It just uh, like gives you a warning when the guy is going too fast. Yeah. Now, if you're at a waypoint, you could just uh, type it in and then uh, click on the altitude and it should end. Um, okay, guys, this is just about it here. Let's get this one and finish. Um, Birth in 872.08 at block for the first year, 18,000 feet for 2,250, and uh, probably cruising at level 140 when we're in French flight. Uh, make sure you do type in as well, I guess. Uh, now, okay, if you don't execute these laws, it erases their part. It likes to, and if you erase them, it goes back to what you just erased. Uh, I'm setting this uh, at level 140 for computers. You can automatically load this. There is there are different small errors that I'm going to have to check. And you have time, space, or case depend for phone numbers. The best way to just do an IE if you want to send over one of these is now, and and five five five. Uh, you could put the M if you want; doesn't matter. And the fuel configuration is kind of like always one two fifty and then five five eight. Okay, uh, you don't have to put an M, but I'm going to put an M there. And once you're done with that, you go to the next page to get your descent calculation. If you're uh, top of descent at level 140, you're 65 miles off. Uh, you need a descent of four, negative 400 feet per minute, but it also taps into your uh, required gears at the last waypoint. So if you see here, the uh, top of descent at 130 is always there. So uh, you don't have to watch your DM. You just go there, go to slow four, and stop your descent at negative 1,000 feet per minute. Uh, simple as that. Let's go to like the third and final and close this off here. Um, the runway here is just a little pretty runway for uh, good options for your distance to the crew to the right. Um, select your Bob 1F, that takes us to Burbag. And uh, let's try this over here. Oops, too big. And there we go. We uh, get to go this way on to the actual route. So now this is flight straight. Then go into the actual flight plan. Uh, you should do that uh, for when we're in these regions. You don't have to worry about it at the moment. Okay, so now let's um, go back to the top of the level. We go to arrival at Kuala Lumpur. Um, then we go to uh, and this is what we said for level 140. Oh, wait, sorry, that's the wrong one. It's 32 left. Okay, there we go. Let's stop there. So that's that. Let's finish uh, the left there side. Let's click on it again if you're too right. It's not always an R. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm in par cat three, so it means I'm I need to get five six. Uh, and then we have a route there. This is the uh, route there will be shortcut for for that route, and this is like straight one two three. Uh, let's exit to that runway. There we go. Um, the same, um, not the limit here, but in, uh, whatever star you're using, it puts us right on track for the ILS, or for this case, for an approach. So, yeah, we need to also see that the uh, airport and the runway would be mentioned in the actual route from the right um, area. Okay, so, um, uh, now we're also going to be missing another route, route 3, that's like your alternate route, or, um, you know, like the route from Sky or whatever, let's go to Sky there. Just just a small error here for laser on the fuel value. I'm gonna fix that in a second, it's all coming in together. Now this is your last waypoint that you're currently going to. Uh, your uh, altitude, uh, I mean not altitude, distance to go and then the ETA in Zulu time, time is what we say in uh, English and Russian. We end up using that as the English word. Uh, that's your current time. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for 